Hello, hobbits. How's it going? You having a good day? Let me make sure to have everything fully up. You're getting lots of things done. But you're more productive than me right now. <laughs> I am full anxiety mode, but that's fine. Everything's fine. It's, it's, it's fine. Everything will be fine, no matter what. So if I remember pulling laundry while I juggle stream and other friends and grocery shop and clean room, that is a lot. <laughs> Well, ding! Well, ding! I like well, ding! I do like welding. <laughs> I forgot that I had that set at 1000. I might need to change that. <laughs> yeah, maybe I need to lower my peanuts a bit. Who knows? Ali, you are an amazing streamer, and I appreciate you. I appreciate you more. You're sweet. <laughs> Worth it. Yes. Let's just say... I'm waiting on a call. I'm very hopeful and hoping that I don't. Um, I'm hoping everything goes well. But uh, let's see. Where are we in the game? We're. We found so in bits. Hi, Tiz. Guess who I've got sitting on my desk? <laughs> he is the goodest boy. He's got crumbs on him, apparently. He's a crummy boy. <laughs> and I wish I could move the camera to show this. I'm gonna see if I can. Nope, no. No, <sighs> no, no. Not gonna work. Sadly. Oop, nope. No. There we go. I was gonna try and show the sleeping cat, but uh, the angling just doesn't work. Eh! Did we though? Did we really fix the relationship? We might have fixed her memory a little bit, but who knows. All oh, right, we are talking to boss about something. I'm not going to be able to sit still all of stream. This is going to kill me. I 
have a feeling that the ADHD trigger is going to be triggered a lot today. <laughs> you are you are a chicken. <laughs> yes, you're a Pidgeotto, looks like. I think you can change it. It's in the About tab. In the, um... In the About thing of my, um... Twitch channel. So if you go to the Streamlabs thing, it'll have, like, all the different things that you could be. You can do that, I think. But only one of us can be Arbok. Sneaky girl. Honestly, you know what this music reminds me of? It reminds me of Sims. <laughs> it sounds very Sim-ish. Especially like two songs ago. It was very Sim-ish. I wonder if I'd get copyright striked for playing Sim music. So, different things get you gold uh, when playing stream avatars. That, that's what this is, stream avatars. So, uh, if you jump at the same time that a star goes over top of you, you get gold for that. And you can, um, you can buy stuff, like clothing. I think. When you try uh, exclamation point jump and time it at the right time. And I don't know if it, like, either when you're on mobile or when you're... There you go! Yay, you won five! So, um... I don't know if it's it works on mobile or if it works on... Um... Desktop better. Wait. Oh, one of the things is, uh... Commands, I think? Yeah, there's the command list. So you can go there and see what all is available as well. Oh damn, you've got a 30 second delay? That's insane. I thought it's only supposed to be like 6 seconds. Is your connection bad or something? Or... Tiz, are you getting that as well? Four seconds. Okay, so it's user-based, not my side then. Okay. Alright. It is time for us to do some... Not spooky game, but uh, yeah, that's my alarm for making sure that I start the game on time. <sighs> Actually, I'm going to turn on my alarms so I can hear if my phone goes off. Okay, so I've got an airplane in my shirt window. Damn tootin' I do. What's happening like this in the um... Now I'm gonna get all- I'm gonna hear all my text messages and that's going to bug me. you, I appreciate it. And that's still set to Phasmophobia. Whoops. Um, and just as a reminder, this game is very flashy, so if you get uh, epilepsy, don't watch this. 
<laughs> if you has the epilepsy, don't watch this, is what I meant to say. Okay, got that set there. All right, let's start this game or continue this game. <laughs> the game's gonna flash us. Yes, it is. Uh, we are in Abyss H H Q. And, uh, we are talking to boss. B -b 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 boss <laughs> I don't know how I did that, and I'll probably never be able to do that again. <laughs> there we go. Bit more centered. Two points of information. But they may not connect directly to the murders. What are the two clues? Point one. This may be easier to see than explain. I sent a video to the boss's PC. Ooh. Could you check there, please? Movie time! The boss went to her desk and moved her mouse. I stood next to her and looked at the monitor. What's this? It's from Sunday night. Yes, after Date was beaten by Ota at Matsushita Diner. Tessa, wait! Uh, I'll get the car! You witch! There, stop it! I noticed this earlier as well. Do you see the walk on the floor beside Iris and Mayumi? Yeah, what about it? Look closely. The bottom part is curved. Do you notice anything in the reflection? Iris and Mayumi? Yes. I have prepared an enlarged and processed version of the image. Boss, the next video. Well, that's convenient. wrong did something happen oh that's interesting no, everything's fine okay let's go Ota. that makes sense why she would chase now hey what's this iris has the kitchen knife the video continues, but this should be enough. Iris took the knife and left the diner with Ota. But if Ota's testimony is true, the polar bear had the kitchen knife. Maybe it was taken off of Iris when she was kidnapped. At the Femisto parking lot? Whatever, we can think about it later. You said you had two clues. Yeah, what's the other one? I have learned new information. More thorough autopsy results of Renju's body have revealed something. An object in his intestines. An object? A clump of organic matter. Because it was partially digested, it took significant time to analyze. Well, what was it? Shoko Nadami's eyeball. Ew. That... That's... What? An end? Ota route end? Um... Yeah, I guess I'll save? That was rather abrupt. Uh, welp. 
Let's see, how many ends have we gotten? We've gotten the Iris route, me and my girlfriend Atami's route, uh, Sejima Residence Bad End, Mizuki Route End, and we just got the um, Ota Route End. Hmm. Ooh, this one unlocked. I guess we'll go here. What is this route? That that's the uh that was one of the ones that was unlocked that that was locked. So, let's begin that. Right, we discovered uh Iris's body. Day five, Tuesday. I don't remember what all happened in this route. Uh, Harbor Warehouse District, Tuesday, 9.39 a.m. Have you settled down? The scene is being inspected without you. This time the body didn't disappear. However, you lost consciousness. I didn't expect you to faint. I mean, it's a bit traumatic. Seeing that corpse must have been incredibly shocking. I did not predict you to be the fainting type. I suppose humans are unpredictable. Now that you're back, let's get back to business. You are conscious, are you not? Are you at a loss for words? Date, don't let negative thoughts consume you. A bit naggy. Thinking that Iris died because of me. If I never took her to Ota's, this wouldn't have happened. If you truly believe that, then your brain is completely rotten. Or perhaps when you saw the corpse, your head became filled with images of blooming yellow dandelions. What? What? Oh, you're talking now. <laughs> Was I correct? Rude. If you consider the situation logically, even an elementary school student would understand. Huh? Fine. Allow me to pluck some of those dandelions from your mind. I will ask three questions. Please answer honestly. First question. The cold storage warehouse was not in regular operation. But even so, the AC was on and a minus 58 degree temperature was maintained. Why is that? Uh, ice cream? Maybe the AC is broken to preserve something? It wasn't in use, but it was being maintained. So, it was being used. Why? For what purpose? To preserve something? To preserve something. Yes. Let us move on to the next question. Second question. There was something strange about the corpse. Do you remember what that was? It's the right eye, not the left. That is a unique factor. But there was something else, something more peculiar. Uh, it was hidden inside the engine? The culprit was afraid that the body would be discovered, so they hid it under the hood. But why there? The ocean is right here. If they really wanted to hide the body, they could have put weights on it and sunk it into the water. But we do not know for certain that the culprit was attempting to dispose of the body. There is something more unusual. It was completely frozen. 
Iris's body was completely frozen. The temperature read negative 58. With Iris's weight, just wondering, but how much do you weigh? Don't you know it's rude to ask a lady that? 105 pounds. I see. 105, huh? It should have taken about 18 hours to freeze solid. But we were... Wait a moment. Before you draw your conclusion, allow me to ask my final question. Question three. Two days ago, Sunday night, you found a dead body in the cold storage warehouse. But afterward, you visited the Sagan household and discovered that Iris was in fact still alive. Why? It was a uh, hallucination? What I saw on Sunday must have been a hallucination. It was a dream. No, Date. You are overthinking it. You saw the corpse. But Iris was alive. Which means... You mean... You mean... You've got it. I bolted into the warehouse like I was shot out of a gun. right eye has been forcibly removed. It was the left eye for Shoko. Corpse's right eye has been removed. I don't believe it. The stomach is swollen slightly. She appears to have been pregnant. Do not worry. The uterus does not contain a fetus. You mean, after she was killed? No. The fetus was not present in her body when she was killed. She must have been killed after giving birth. The distended stomach does not immediately shrink after birth. The expanded uterus takes some time to return to its normal size. This evidence makes one thing perfectly obvious. This corpse isn't Iris. It's someone else. Which means... Iris is still alive! Not necessarily. She could be alive. We haven't confirmed that yet. <sighs> She's still missing. Multiple stab wounds with a single-edged, sharp object to the victim's back. Judging that, by the size and that shape sounds of familiar. the marks, the weapon was most likely a kitchen knife. This matches what you said on Sunday. So this is the body I saw then? Yeah, so someone stabbed her multiple times. And we, we saw that in So Somnium. So who did So... See, die. Is there an estimated time of death? Impossible to determine. This body has been completely frozen for at least ten years. Ten years? She was killed more than ten years ago? Exactly. Yikes. Her identity is unknown. Her killer is also unknown. But there is one likely suspect. Who? Suspect or witness? Let's witness. consider the clues. The scene. Okiura Fishery Cold Storage Warehouse. Sunday night. We saw so here. And there is something else about So Sejima. We witnessed someone similar to Iris being stabbed repeatedly in So Somnia. But it wasn't Iris. It was this woman. That is highly likely. What we saw was So's memory from more than ten years ago. I believe that is the case. Red 
Renju is, so? But we still do not know where Renju is. That means that we need to talk to him. So, Sejima. Pitiful corpse. Just looking at her makes my chest hurt. Aiba, who is this? Unknown. A Jane Doe. Definitely not Iris. Time to go interrogate, uh, so Sujima. Sure did. Sujima residence, Tuesday, 12.02 p.m. Mizuki and Ota kept searching for Iris, but unfortunately they didn't turn up anything. Her Iris's whereabouts are still unknown. I'm worried about her, but without any leads, we'd just be looking for her blindly. I should focus on the investigation for now. It'll eventually lead me to Iris, I'm sure of it. With that in mind, I headed to So's mansion. I thought I told you never to show your face here again. Too bad. I didn't come here for Shoko today. I didn't come here for Iris either. Instead, I'm here for a girl who looks like Iris. Did you kill her? Date, look. I knew it. You killed her, didn't you? I don't know what you're talking about. I've had enough of your shit, Congressman! You wanted to check on the body of the girl you killed. That's why you were at the cold storage warehouse two days ago. Keep questioning. Where is Renju? Have a good night, hobbits. You know where he is, don't you? You were at an Okiura fishery warehouse for a reason. There's definitely a connection between you two. And that's not all. Number 89 called your secretary. The same number 89 that Renju escaped with. Now tell me. Where is Renju? Suddenly, a gang of bodyguards stormed out of the mansion. In an instant, they surrounded me. We'd like to ask you to please leave. Wow, well, that went all of nowhere. Damn it, so! There's nothing we can do. We did arrive without a warrant. We were technically trespassing. Bless if you. we had called the police, we would be in a predicament. We would have been detained immediately. Who would look after Iris then? Do you intend to leave your responsibility with Mizuki and Ota? Ah. Calm down, Date. We are angry. We still have our lead. Lead? Before I explain, we need to discuss the corpse in the cold storage warehouse. Let's give her a name. Because she is frozen solid, we could call her All Ice <laughs> or Alice. <laughs> what do you think? That's Alice a reference. And Iris. I believe it fits nicely. I can't explain exactly Alice. the reference, but it, it it's someone might be able to identify her. It's a distinct Ooh. reference to another game that the same game dev Allow made. Me to ask you three questions. Again with this? First question. You have seen this corpse more than twice. Three times in fact. When was the first time? Hmm. When was the first time we saw the frozen corpse? Uh, Sunday night? That was the second time. When my body was out of commission and you went to the warehouse on your own. That was the second time. When was the first time I'm we saw it? I'm not talking about then. I'm talking about the very first time. So didn't Mizuki saw you? Mizuki's seen this body before? What? 
When did we see it in Mizuki Somnium? Three days ago. Saturday night when I sink to the abyss. Yes, in the Somnium world. We saw the frozen corpse of a girl. Right. The premonition. Question two. Who is the girl? A virus. <laughs> Adrian? Uh... Now I know. That girl was probably Alice. Most likely, yes. So we have technically known Alice for three days. One last thing. The final question. In which Somnium did we see Alice? Mizuki's. My roommate, Mizuki Okiura. Exactly. You mentioned something about Mizuki's Somnium being some kind of prophecy. But prophecies are nonsense. Dreams are not made of the future. They are made from the past. Therefore... Mizuki has seen Alice before. There is no other explanation. How? Why? Aiba, where is Mizuki now? Where we went with Iris yesterday. Akume Shrine. The Shrine? Why would she be there? Unknown. She is supposed to be looking for Iris. Okay, let's go. Yeah, probably training. Tuesday, 2.40. Date. Did you find Iris? If I did, I would have told you already. Right. Uh, what are you doing here? Iris used to like this shrine. She told me about all her memories here. We used to come here all the time. You know those steps in the front? We would sit there together and talk about things. Like, what gluten-free means, and eyelash extensions, and aerial yoga. <laughs> and we would talk about all our problems together. Sometimes we would talk late into the night. So I thought that maybe she'd be here. But it looks like I was wrong. Uh, where's Ota? I think he's searching Akihabara right now. Last time he checked in, he said he didn't have anything. Do you know where Renju is, by any chance? I think Iris is with Renju. With Daddy? Yeah. Her note mentioned her most trusted person. That's probably Renju. Yeah. I remember that mermaid girl saying something like that. He was looking for Iris. Does that mean that Daddy is the one who called for Iris? could be. So I need to know where he is. But I haven't been able to get a hold of him. Uh, about Alice. Mizuki, I have something very important to ask you. I told Mizuki about the corpse we called Alice. You've seen her before, haven't you? Three days ago, I saw her in your Somnium. The body of a girl who looks like Iris, Alice. Your dreams are built from your memories. So that corpse... Mizuki, please, answer me. Iris's life is at stake. Huh? What do you mean? I told Mizuki everything. About how Renju ran off with the assassin number 89. How number 89 is connected to So Sejima. And that Sejima is linked to Alice's murder. I need to know everything about Alice. If I find out who she is, I might be able to solve the mystery of Renju and number 89. And that might lead me to Iris. 
Mizuki looked down at her feet quietly. You could see agony in her face. Silence lingered. Finally, she steeled herself, lifted up her head, and spoke. Okay, I'll tell you about Alice. Okay. It was about a month ago. I saw my daddy crying in the president's office at Lemnus Gate. I was peeking through a crack in the door so he didn't see me. Daddy got up, then got into his car and drove away. I had never seen him like that before. I was curious, so I followed him in a taxi. That led me to the cold storage warehouse. He got out of his car and went inside. I followed right behind him, quietly. Daddy was standing next to the forklift in the back. I hid behind a shelf. I watched Daddy open the hood of the forklift, and then, after a little bit, he left. I wanted to know what he was looking at. I went over to the forklift, and I looked under the hood myself. And then... You saw Alice's dead body. But at the time, I thought it was Iris. Uh, what did you do after that? The corpse looked exactly like Iris. I couldn't believe she was dead. I just couldn't. So I went to Iris's house. Huh? What's wrong, Mizuki? Iris was alive. I thought I was going crazy. Or dreaming. I tried to convince myself that it was just a hallucination. Why didn't you call the police? What was I supposed to do? Daddy would have been in trouble. So you kept quiet this whole time? Yeah. Did you talk to Renju about it? What do you mean? I couldn't just ask. It would have changed everything. I thought that as long as I stayed quiet, everything would be okay. I didn't see a dead body. I wasn't even at the warehouse. I repeated that to myself over and over and tried to forget the whole thing. Repressed memories are often the subject of somnia. That's why Alice showed up during the sink. About the warehouse. I actually met with one of the higher-ups at Daddy's company last night, before I went to Matsushita Diner. Why? Because you asked about the cold storage. I was curious. I asked around some, and... And what? I found out that Daddy was managing the warehouse before I was born. After my grandpa died, Daddy took over. In exchange for managing the warehouse, he gave ownership of the company to someone else. I guess he didn't want to let this place go. Or maybe he couldn't let it go. That's more accurate, I think. But I understand why. Inside that warehouse was... Was the body. On paper, Daddy has nothing to do with Okiura Fishery. Daddy was still managing the warehouse. And he was the only one allowed in there, too. That was part of the agreement when he gave up the company. And the whole thing had to be a secret. He really stressed that point. How long was he managing the warehouse? Hey, Mizuki. How long was he managing the warehouse? For 18 years. That's 18 years? Yikes. 18 years? From that long ago? Yes. Iba, I need an emergency search. Missing persons from 18 years ago. Understood. Huh? Dante, I found her. The girl who looks like Iris. What's her name? Monica Ey, 19 years old at the time oh of her Oh my god. A graduate of a Toku high school. What? Renju was my classmate at a Toku high. 
We've known each other for 20 years now. When I was young, I... I lost someone very important to me. Monica Ui, my best friend. One of the only friends I had. Alice's... Oh, man. Monica. It's Tommy's friend who went to the same school as her and Renju. But why? Monica's body was found just now. But even back then, Hitomi knew. She knew that Monica was already dead. Iba, where is Hitomi right now? At headquarters for questioning. MPD still believes that the body they discovered was Iris. Got it. Contact boss. Have them bring Hitomi to Abyss. Roger that. Sounds like we're going to be doing some sinking. Let's go to Abyss. Police headquarters, Tuesday, 5.08 p.m. You're awfully calm. You saw the corpse of your daughter today. You were called into the station to confirm her identity. And yet here you are, cool as a cucumber, even though you lost your precious daughter. Shall I guess why? Her name is EY Monica. She has been missing for 18 years. She was 19 years old at the time she went missing. Monica, Hitomi Sagan, and Renju Okiara all attended a Toku High School. Because that body isn't Iris. And you know it. Are you serious? Yes. Her name is Monica Iwai. She was killed when she was 19. She went to the same high school as you, and she was your best friend. Isn't that right? Nothing to say for yourself? Hiding something? Maybe you killed her with Renju. That's ridiculous. Oh, now you're talking. But we know Renju committed a crime. Illegally disposing of a body. And we can prove it. Cold storage warehouse where the body was found. Achievement unlocked. It's been managed by Renju for almost two decades now, and witness testimony proves that he knew about the corpse there. And if I'm not mistaken, you knew about the corpse too, Hitomi. You and Renju have been close since high school. It's not too much of a stretch to think that he told you about the body, and I remember you telling me once. When I was young, I. I lost someone very important to me. Monica Ui, my best friend. One of the only friends I had. How did you know that she was dead? I didn't. Don't play dumb. I know you're hiding something. You know what happened 18 years ago. And you knew she was pregnant. You were her best friend. Of course you would have known. Tell me. Tell me everything! Date, she's not going to talk. Sync with her. We're in this route, right? Yeah. Date, I'm sure I've told you enough times by now, but please, come back within six minutes. You I got can't it. promise you that, Pewter. What do you mean? I mean I'm not coming back until I find something. Date, you can't! Why not? You know why! 
Because it will take over my consciousness? Yes! But if it's only a little... No, not even a little! If the sink passes the critical point, the damage will be irreparable! But what does that mean exactly? Odd. Are you two hiding something? No. I'm not hiding anything. Sounds then like I should try sink. It. Let's experiment with my mind. Then we'll know for sure what'll happen. Ugh, fine. I'll just say it. Yeah? Pewter, tell him. Me? <laughs> you know more about it than I do. <sighs> well... Where are you? There you are. What happens after six minutes? Well, first off, six minutes is not a hard limit. Oh, really? It could be seven, or even eight. I don't care about the exact time. I'm asking what happens if you go beyond the limit. Do you remember the story I told you about the egg? Vaguely. Yeah, why? If you imagine an egg as your consciousness, the yolk is what goes into the subject's brain. The white remains inside your shell. If you go beyond the limit, your yolk will not be able to return to its shell. Because the subject's mind will start to take over the sinker's consciousness, right? I know that part already. Indeed. But there's more to it. After the yolk is devoured, the egg white is brought through the machine next. Huh? And there's more. It's not just the sinker's brain. The same process eventually occurs in the subjects as well. In other words, the entire egg ends up being replaced. Mind, consciousness, memory, they are traded, switched. The human brain has what can be understood as a memory limit. One brain can only hold one consciousness. And it can only contain one person's memories. That's interesting. Anything else? Now you know everything. Talk to the boss. Why were you guys so loath to tell me this? Why did you keep this a secret? I was unaware of this as well. This information is not on any accessible databases. We had to prevent the possibility that the system could be exploited. Exploited? But... Even if it wasn't you, someone else might try. We didn't tell any sinkers this, including you. Wait, there's other sinkers? The Project Sink is a top secret project. It's a matter of national security. Even sinkers are on a need-to-know basis. Think about it. What if you were kidnapped by bad people who tried to make you talk? Bad people? A criminal organization, spies from another country, those people. If you blabbed about Project Sink, the entire country might be at risk. You heard it from Pewter. The sync machine isn't just for entering a person's somnium. It can also be used to swap bodies between two people. Imagine what this machine would be used for in the wrong hands. That's why I didn't tell you. We can't let the secret get out. Yeah, no kidding. Yes, Aiba, we get it. Swapping bodies between two people? Trading minds? Remember what I told you earlier? Are you listening to me? Yeah, yeah, I got it. Are you really okay? I'm fine. Start it. Understood. Let us begin.
<laughs> You're really gonna stop Dante from becoming a hot lady. <laughs> yeah, good luck with that. <laughs> I am Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and save. The god of fire. I burn erotic books with my flames <laughs> of red hot anger. My how ruthless. Are you okay? <laughs> that hurt. I'll let you read this porno mag if it'll make you feel better. <laughs> I will burn it. The fog is making it pitch black. The light over there. Is that a firefly? Somnium scan! Activate! Alright, block one. Block two. Block three. Only th No, block four. Four locks. A real Hitomi's secret buried deep inside. It disappeared? No, wait. It might still be nearby. Bud. I cannot identify the variety. Uh, worship, smell, or figure out the type. What's the type? I cannot identify the type of flower in this state. It appears to be some kind of lily. Okay. A flower bud. Uh, smell. What Psychedelic. Happened? It doesn't have any particular smell, but for some reason I nearly blacked out. Maybe it's poisonous. Be careful. What's this? Caring words from you, Date. What are you hiding? A flower bud. Uh, let's worship it. Worship it? Yeah. I will pray to it as though I am mourning the dead. It bloomed a little? I don't know what caused it, but it's better than nothing happening. Oh, that was block one. Okay. There's a rock. And a hole in a tree? Shake? A rock. Uh... Why are we not getting timies? This is a simple rock, but... Is there any kind of pattern? No, I thought the flower did have timies. Be. We're not getting timies. You saw that, right? 
It didn't allow us to have a timey, that's weird. The hell? A rock. Worship? But it's a rock. Gods live in the rocks too, you know. A rather Japanese way of thinking. Just try it. If you insist. Wonder if it has How anything. It? You've cleared your head, right? Yes. I now feel a sense of emptiness. Guess it was a waste of time. I do not want to hear that from you. Wonder if it's because we're not Oh, we actually got one that time. That's weird. There's a hole in the tree. A hole in a tree. I may be able to fit inside. Uh That is true. Of course, what shall we do? Scream. Stop giving me orders! I didn't know you had all that bottled up. Sorry. My voice is echoing. Must be pretty cavernous in there. Please tackle, please stick my hand in. Stick hand in. I am not going to be eaten or anything, right? Whoa! We got pulled in. I fell, but I am still in the forest. It's darker than before. What? Is someone there? That voice is... Find so, out where that voice is coming like from. Sounds like Renju. Uh, well that looks like a line. No, hole in tree. Rock number three? A rock. Uh, investigate, lift. This is a simple rock, but... Is there any kind of pattern? No, there does not appear to be. Hmm. Yeah, we didn't get that timing. A rock. Understood. My foot hurts. I see. My foot hurts. Sorry, sorry. Wait, there was a tree too? Four minutes. Oh. A hole in the tree. It looks about as big around as a soccer ball. Uh, stick hand in. I am not going to be sucked in, am I? That's strange. It should have worked. Did you want to see me get sucked in? Hey, it worked last yeah. time. Gave us one. A hole in the tree. Uh, peek inside. I cannot see anything. It is unnaturally dark. Anything else? I do not see anywhere that air could be flowing from. A hole in the tree. And tackle, scream. Hmm. Scream? The Emperor is naked! 
did. Okay. What about the Empress, though? <laughs> the Empress is naked! Sounds like my kind of empire. Let's move there. <laughs> I don't see anything. Nor do I. Okay. A uh, shake? Oh, maybe a... Uh, a hole in the... Tr tackle. Understood. I will do my best. Ooh. Something fell. Something fell. This is... A picture of Hitomi, Renju, and Monica. Everyone is so young. Hold on to that. Can we do something new, I guess? Three minutes, Date. Where do we take the picture? <gasps> Renju! Renju Okiura. Uh, show him the picture. Renju, look at this. Wait. And he ran away. Renju, stop! We shook Renju. Whoops. Uh, we need to shake something else. Maybe not that. Let's look at the map. Oh wait, there's a hole. Where's the hole? It's over here. Okay. map again. We didn't need to go this way. Rock two. Keep on missing it. Oh, there it is. You have less than two minutes, Date. Hurry. What is this hole? It wasn't here earlier. Good point. Jump in. Really? Yeah, go ahead. Understood. Huh. Uh, it's even more difficult to see now. Another voice? That's Hitomi's voice! Where is she? Look for her! Yikes. Okay, I gotta be really careful now. Uh, hole in tree three. Okay. So I need to find my way there.
Ooh, the frick was that? Oh, hello. Uh, Hitomi? Hitomi? Um... Oh god, I'm even further away! You have one minute left. Is that it? Yeah, it is. Oops. I clicked out of the game. Another hole in a tree. About as big as a capybara, I estimate. Those are pretty big. Uh, peek inside. Tackle. Shake. So we tackle. A hole in a Leave it to me. I will break it down. Huh? Date, perhaps we should pursue a more peaceful route. Yeah, I agree. Date, you've got less than 30 seconds. <sighs> Did we find Rock 3? Yeah, we need to restart this one. Um, from lock one, I think. Okay, so we lit it up. What do we have? Hole and tree. Really hard to see. Five minutes left, Dante. A hole in a tree. I may be able to fit inside. Beetles might fall out. This isn't one of your animal friend video games. Nothing fell. Did you want something to fall out? What did we do for this one? This was stick handin? Oh. Well, we got a half timey, so. A hole. I am not going to be eat. Forgot about that. Thank you. Whoa. I fell, but uh, it's dark. What? Hey. That void. Find out where the. This one is find the tree. Hole in tree two. in the tree. It looks about as big around as a soccer ball. Tackle. Understood. I will do my best. And then we get the picture and we show it to Renju. This is a picture of Hitomi, Renju, and Monica. Everyone is... There's Renju. Renju. Uh Are we showing the picture? Renju, look at this. <laughs> All right. 
Good point. I am. Whoops. I thought I unmuted myself. I'm a dumb. Yay! My brain hurts. <laughs> A lot of stuff has happened in this game today. So much. Still nothing. I guess I'll find out tomorrow by noon. I'm not gonna be able to sleep tonight. <laughs> You're so somehow supposed to play a fighty game after this? Good luck. Let's get back to the game. Brain hurty. Yeah, let's hurt our brains more. Wait! Renju, stop! Oops. Thank you. That's how, how, uh, Hurt my brain is. <laughs> Four minutes. All right, hole. Found a hole. What is this hole? It wasn't here earlier. Jump in. Really? Yeah, go ahead. Understood. Thud. Uh, it's even more difficult to see now. Another voice? Monica! That's Hitomi's voice. Where is she? Look for her. Alright, uh, hole in tree. So it's that way. There it is. Another hole in a tree. 
About as big as a capybara, I estimate. Those are pretty... Uh, peek inside? What is this? A web of some kind? Well, it would have to be a spider web. Uh, I have web on my face. That didn't a work. Hole in a tree. Three minutes, Date. Uh, tackle. Leave it to me. I will break it down. Huh? Wait, we already tackled this Date, one. Date, perhaps we should pursue a more. Yeah. <sighs> Damn it. A hole in a tree. Did we scream into this one? Hitomi! Date likes Hitomi! Hey, what are you trying to say? Hitomi won't remember this sink. But still. <laughs> oh, it got, a, got her to stop. Stopped. It made her stop. Can we interact with her now? That's Hitomi. Uh, Inspector, talk to her. Talk. Hitomi, what are you doing here? Guess she can't hear you. She looks like she's looking for something. Shake. That's Hitomi. Can we shake her? Mm. I think we're supposed to get something, probably. There was a third rock. Where's the third rock? Okay. Rock three. A rock. Uh, lift. Uh, investigate. This is a simple rock, but is there any kind of pattern? No, there does not appear to be. Didn't give us one. A rock. Kick. Understood. My foot hurts. We kicked the other one. My foot hurts. Sorry, sorry. So it's shape. You have less than two minutes, Dante. Hurry. Got us a need. A rock. Uh, lift. Do what? Just try. Understood. Well, did you find anything? No, of course not. Well, shit. But it gave us a tenth. Hmm. Map. Hole in tree. Rock one, two, and three. I guess we go back to Hatomi? Modestly, but underneath she has a curvaceous body. Good work, Iba. That's good to know. <sighs> Not what we wanted. 
That's Hitomi. Inspect? Hitomi Sagan. Like Renju, this must have been approximately 20 years ago. Something must have happened around that time. That's Hitomi. We're gonna run out of time again. Touch? Where? Well, um... You could, you know, touch her... But in this Somnium, she might be a minor. Her stomach. Test how soft her stomach is. If you say so. I touched it. So, what's the softness situation? Tell me. It was soft. Nice and pliant. No noticeable abdominal muscles. Valuable information indeed. Thank you, Iba. You old pervert. Got us a timey. Um. So, tell me he's exhausted. Um. Rock 2 is rather close. Did we though? Did we scream? Did we actually scream? This one might be easier to lift. Do what? Just try. Understood. Well, did you find anything? No. It did of have a different not. one. It had check. A rock. You have one minute left. This is a simple rock, but... Is there any kind of pattern? No, there does not appear to be. God damn it. Take time a rock. <sighs> Confused, what am I forgetting? But it's... A rock. Gods live in the rocks too, you know. A rather right, Japanese this. way of thinking. Just try it. If you insist. How was it? You've cleared your head, right? Yes. I now feel a sense of emptiness. Guess it was a waste of time. I do not want to hear that from you. I don't think kicking it is a good idea. Um, and we did every. Hmm, doesn't look like we did everything from the whole, uh, from the tree. Tree. Oh, stick hand in. I won't get sucked in, right? Hmm? A cord bracelet has appeared on my wrist. Okay. It belongs to someone. It might be important. So Hold scream, on. then hand in. Where did Tommy go? Dante, you've got less than 30 seconds. I can make it. 
That's Hitomi. Uh, show bracelet. Do you remember this? Wait! Follow her! On it! Is too far away. We're not gonna make it. Retry. Uh, from. Why isn't it not letting me? It's odd. I have to completely reset. Yikes. Hey, we can't! Time is up! Damn it! Is it over? Uh, retry. Rude. Uh, I guess restart. Wait, no, I... I saved at a decent point, right? God? I am the god of. Because I saved. I know I was saved at a decent point. I thought. Yeah, 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 shut up. I am fine. Renju, stop! Alright, so scream, then bracelet. Four minutes. Where's the freaking Where's the tree? Oh, there it's a hole, duh. What is this hole? It wasn't here. Jump in. Really? Yeah. Un <laughs> uh, it's even more difficult to see now. Another. That's a top. Where is she? Three minutes, Dante. Excuse me. There's the tree. Okay, so it's past. Bye, Adami. There it is. Why is it behind us? Another hole in a- 
Desert. Scream? Hitomi! Date likes Hitomi! Hey, Hitomi would still. Hitomi's. A hole in a tree. Stick hand. I won't get sucked in, right? Yeah, the map's bull. Hmm. A cord break might be in. Now I gotta find Hitomi. You have less than two minutes, Date. Hurry. There she is. That's Hitomi. Do you remember this? Wait! Follow her! On it! Getting turned around. That's rock three. Where's hole? <sighs> God damn it. A large hole. Was this here before? I'm gonna save. If there is nothing left to do... Date, what is going on? I don't know, it's pitch black. I can't see anything. I see. Then it is not me malfunctioning. Can you feel your way around? There's I can something try. over there. One minute weird. left. What? What? Okay. Um, cluster amaryllis. Oh, Lord. Oh, geez. Here we go. A lycoris flower. <sighs> Fuck. Grab, dig up, worship. Nothing is happening. That's to be expected, but still disappointing. Date, you've got less than 30 seconds. A lycoris flower. Might as well run it out. <sighs> Grab. I feel a little awkward, but... It's useless. The roots must be strong. It won't budge. A lycoris flower. Uh, dig up. Let's do it. Wh what? Another hole. Which means I have to go back to the Dante, safe. We can't. Time is up. Damn it. Yeah, it does.
does. It really does. A large hole. If there is nothing left... Date, what is going on? I don't... I see. Can you feel... I can... You have one minute left. Alright, dig. A lycoris flower. Let's do it. God knows I'm not good at time management. What? Another hole. A large hole. Oh god. We've come this far. I will not protest now. Achievement unlocked. Corpse flower. Alright, day five, Tuesday, still. But tell me, I think I know it. <laughs> Gotta still save. Eighteen years ago, you three were close. You, Monica, and Renju. Monica was murdered. You and Renju found the body in the mountains, and you brought it back to the cold storage warehouse. And my guess is so Sejima killed Monica. I've seen inside his head before, using this machine. I see. If you know that much, then there's no point in hiding it anymore. I'll tell you the truth. Hmm. Backstory, backstory, backstory. All right. 18 years ago. Wait, you're going to see So? Yes. I want to talk to him in person. No, you can't. Why not? Are you worried about my body? You don't have to worry about that. I'm totally fine. But your stomach is still... Oh, my doctor told me that's normal. Your stomach doesn't go down right away after giving birth. I'm not worried about your body. Uh, I don't know how to explain it. So doesn't care about you. And especially not your child. I haven't told him about giving birth. 
He contacted me for the first time in a while. So that's why. He wants to know about the baby. He must be panicking. If anyone ever finds out his mistress had his baby, his political career oh, will be man. over. It's not like it was an affair. His wife passed away after giving birth to his son, right? It would still be a big scandal. Iris is so his daughter. Who just graduated high school. Don't you see how that looks? He knew how the public would take it. That's why he gave you the money to deal with it. There's no way he'll accept that child. It's okay. I told him that I won't cause any trouble. But could you take care of the baby? Just for a little bit? I'll be right back. Fine. But take this with you, just in case. It's a GPS transmitter. Just to be extra safe. I really don't think I'll need it. But okay, if it'll make you feel better. I don't know what Monica saw in So. She said he was kind and loyal, that he wanted to change Japan, but I didn't understand any of it. He tried to convince her to break up with him so many times. She never listened, and it ended in tragedy. What happened next, you already know. Neither Renju or I saw it happen, so I don't know how much of this is accurate. But we could guess what happened. Someone murdered her. Who told you this? Renju told me. But you said he wasn't there. He heard some of this from the Kumakuras. Renju had connections with them. How did the Kumakuras know? So told them. Uh, what did So say to Monica? He told her to move overseas. He said he'd pay for everything. What happened after Monica's murder? So contacted his friend, the chairman of the Kumakuras. He asked him to dispose of the body and left the scene with the culprit. The incident was 18 years ago. That means the chairman was Rohan, not Moma. Rohan went to the scene of the crime? Yes, with some of his men. Who was the killer? Date, you said that Monica was killed by So, right? But that's not true. Monica was killed by Saito Sajima, the son of So and his late wife. Oh my. Heartbeats. Saito was 12 at the time. 12? Yes. But why would a little boy do that? I don't know. I can't imagine. Yikes. Again, neither Renju or I saw this. We were just waiting at my house for Monica to return. But she never came back. We tried to call her cell, but it didn't connect. But then, we saw movement on the GPS. The GPS Renju gave to Monica? Yes. At first, we thought she was on her way home, but we saw the GPS getting further and further away from the city. Renju and I got nervous, and we decided to follow it. What about the baby? We couldn't take the baby with us, so 
Ranju gave the baby to the mob doctor he trusted. <laughs> yeah, just give a baby to a mob doctor. That makes sense. Those are Kumakura men. We didn't dare move. We couldn't speak. We were barely breathing. We could only watch as it all unfolded. I knew what the hole was for, but I couldn't move. Couldn't do anything. I remember my heart beating so fast. Before long. We good here? Yeah. Cover her. Just a minute. Oh. Ugh. Beautiful. That was unnecessary. <gasps> the Kumakura people covered Monica's body, then left. Ugh. Renju and I ran over and dug up the grave with a tree branch. What? We saw. Can't. Not yet. Why not? You don't know who those guys are. They would do anything to keep this hidden. I've seen it happen myself. I know what they're capable of. Anyway, think about it. Why would they do this? They thought Monica and her baby were going to be trouble. Monica's stomach was still pretty big. I don't think they know that she gave birth already. What do you think they'd do if they found out? They would take her and kill her too. And then, they'd come for us. They'd make it look like we disappeared. All of us would be... gone. Renju convinced me. He knew more about the dirty underbelly of society than anyone. He knew when something couldn't be handled by the police. He said that they would do anything to kill the child. And I believed him. We had to protect Monica's baby. We had to. No matter what. Okay. I understand. I decided to trust him. We couldn't leave Monica's body in the forest. We cleaned her up and took her to the cold storage warehouse. This warehouse is owned by Okiura Fishery. My father runs it. But it's not in use right now. They're moving operations to a better area. They're actually looking for buyers right now. But don't worry. I'll take over the warehouse. Are you sure? Yes. Don't worry. I'll keep everyone out. Everyone but you, of course. I'll give you a key. You can come visit any time you want to see Monica. Monica, don't worry about the baby. 
I'll protect her, no matter what. And don't worry about them, either. The people who did this to you? I will never forgive them. I'm sorry, Monica. Sorry. I'm sorry. Monica. Mob doctor took care of everything. I have the birth certificate, and I even picked up a mother and baby book. It wasn't cheap, but you don't have to worry about it. Just submit the birth certificate, and everything will be taken care of. You look worried. I feel like... I'm somehow betraying Monica. She was the one who gave birth. Soon, you won't even be able to think about that. Because a war is about to begin. A war? Between you and the baby. You won't get a good night's sleep for a long time. You might even start to resent Monica for all this. Really? Anyway, as soon as you submit the certificate, you will officially be her mother. Be sure to raise her responsibly. Babies are hard. I'll help. Occasionally. Occasionally, huh? Uh... About Monica's killer. I don't really want to discuss this, but... There's something you need to know. After talking to the Kumakura gang, I found out who killed Monica. So, son. Saito Sejima. How? Saito was only... Twelve years old. Why? Why would a little boy do that? I don't know the motive, but I know it's true. So used his connections with the Kumakuras to cover up for his son. And all of the evidence of this scandal, of course. I'll never forgive them. So, his son, or the Kumakuras? I feel the same way. But you can't think about revenge now. You and the baby can't lead a life like that. <laughs> Just bear with it for now. The opportunity will come. So Apparently it didn't right come night. for 18 years. Okay. Uh, what should we name her? I was thinking about her name. How about... Iris? Iris? The goddess of rainbows in Greek mythology? And the colored part of your eye? And the flower, too. Right. I thought it might have something to do with your name, Hitomi. <laughs> Not only that... It's also for Monica's name. The kanji for Monica uses the character for love. And Monica reminds me of Monaco, Japanese for eye. So both names have something to do with the eye. And I, which means love, will always be a part of Iris. So that's how you came up with the name? Don't you think it's nice? Iris. Iris. Yeah, I really like it. And so my life with Iris began. Raising a child was much harder than I expected. Waking up in the middle of the night to change diapers or feed her. Iris wasn't a good sleeper. I had to sing her lullabies to put her to sleep. And I always needed to put her to bed so carefully. It would only take 10 seconds before she'd start crying again. So I had to pick her up, sing her another lullaby, then put her back to bed. After doing this over and over, 
Before I knew it, the morning sun would creep in through the windows. But even with all that, I cherished every single day. My hatred for those responsible never went away. But my hands were full, raising Iris. I devoted myself to her. I never thought about anything else. Eventually, my desire for revenge just faded away. Barbecues? How come it's always you and me? Hey, Mommy. How long will it take my bone to get better? I want to dance again with everybody. Hey, Mommy! Do you like my shirt? Oh, we're matching! Mommy, thank you for... Everything. I love you more than anything in the whole wide world! Mommy, look! I drew it! <laughs> the Okonomiyaki War, huh? That was so fun! We should do it again! The food or the food fight? I'm gonna have to say no to the latter, sweetie. It took forever to clean. But Uncle said he wants to do it again, too! Hey, Mommy! Yes? Are you gonna marry him? <laughs> what? What are you talking about? As long as it's Uncle, I'm all for it! I say go for it! Aww. I would always question myself. Could I keep living a lie? I had promised Monica that I would avenge her. But I couldn't work up the courage. And maybe Renju was exaggerating. But there's no statute of limitations for murder in Japan. If we showed Monica's body to the police, so would be punished by the law. And the Sejima's and Kumakura's crimes would be uncovered. But that would mean... Iris's secret would be uncovered as well. That's what I was really worried about. I didn't want Iris to know that So was her father. And even more than that, I didn't want her to know that I'm not her real mother. That's the real reason I've been silent for 18 years. I didn't want to lose Iris. But... Fate can be cruel. God used other means to take Iris from me. Cancer. In January, Iris suddenly collapsed. It was caused by a malignant tumor in her brain. There's nothing we can do. She only has a year to live at most. That's what the doctor said. If you remember me telling you. But what I didn't tell you is that there was an experimental new treatment. It was... Some of the cutting-edge nanomachines can even go inside your body and cure illnesses. They can even cure cancer. And they go, beep, beep, beep. That's what Mom said. <laughs> nanomachines. Nanomachines could remove the tumor. But the procedure would be so expensive. With my salary, it wasn't something I could afford. I thought hard about it about how I could get my hands on that kind of money. But I couldn't think of a solution. 
Time passed. Uh. Before I knew it, it was November. Iris's symptoms worsened. Her time was running out. I was starting to panic. I couldn't sit here and waste time while Iris... In any case, I had to get the money before it was too late. So I thought of a plan. A plan to blackmail Sol Sejima. Did you discuss this with Renju at any point? Two days ago, on Saturday night, I called So and invited him to come to the warehouse. He agreed to come. After I hinted at what happened 18 years ago, I had prepared everything, hiding behind the forklift until So came. When he finally arrived, He walked over to the workbench, where I had laid Monica's body. He lifted the cloth and looked down. Uh. He whimpered and stumbled back. Even he was phased, seeing a body he thought he got rid of 18 years ago. Not to mention it was the body of a woman he was in a relationship with. A woman his own son killed. He reacted exactly as I expected he would. I had prepared a recording and sent it to his phone. I know what happened 18 years ago. Everything. I know who did it, and I know she had a baby inside her. You can probably guess what I'm going to say next. Silence. I will tell you the exact amount later. And don't tell anyone about this. Not Saisho. Not the Komakaras. If you do anything even remotely suspect, I will go to the press with the truth. Understand? I told him to keep quiet and cut ties with the Komakaras. Even if he found out who I was, Without the Kumakura gang, he had no power over me. And there's no way he'd risk his political career. Not to go after me. I saw So put his phone back into his pocket and run out of the warehouse. I came out of my hiding place to put Monica's body back. But then, something unexpected happened. We showed up. I saw you, Date. I hid behind the forklift before you saw me. And when you were done looking around... Uh, it can't be! Iris. I was losing consciousness. My head felt fuzzy. I couldn't gather my thoughts. I didn't know what to say. Instead, Iba did the talking. Iris is not Hitomi's daughter. But Iris's father is Sosajima. Her mother, Monica Iwai, was killed 18 years ago by So's son, Saito. However, Hitomi raised Iris since she was a baby. Hitomi showed unwavering love and compassion for her just as much as her biological mother would have, if not more. Iris's tumor was discovered in January of this year. The only possible treatment was experimental nanotechnology. However, that treatment is restrictively expensive. 
Tomi devised a plan to blackmail Sosajima for the money. The best way to establish the blackmail was to show him proof directly. That is why Hitomi created the scene with the corpse. She was the one who called So to the warehouse. On Sunday night, what Date saw was what Hitomi had prepared for So. That is the summary of what we have learned so far. Thank you, Ada. There are some things I have yet to understand. Date, pull yourself together. Ask her questions. Date, snap out of it! I heard Iba call for me and came too. And that is a good place to save. And, uh... Put it aside. For today. We are a wee bit over. All right. That was an insane amount of info. Wow. Just wow. This uh, so... Iris is not dead. Iris is not Monica... Er... So Iris is Monica's daughter, not Hitomi's. So is her father. So son killed her at 12 years old. Iris is alive and missing in action. We have no idea who has her. Um... Ota is also looking for her right now. Um, so is not dead in this timeline. I think it was said that Saito was studying abroad. Um, which broad? We don't know. Um, Sorry, couldn't <laughs> couldn't help but make that joke. Um, it is the horny game after all. Uh, <laughs> so <laughs> but <laughs> anyways, um yeah, so he's a big question mark. We don't know about him. Oh, we learned that the sink machine is a body swapping machine, apparently. So that's a thing. So if you go over six minutes, you s uh, you uh, body swap completely because um, of uh, <laughs> that is the least shaking revelation here. Are you sure? I'm watching you, and so is everyone else. Yeah, I know. How do you drop such heavy plot points that you overshadow the ability to swap bodies? Like, yikes. That is, that is some, that is some insane insanity. In insane insanity. Wow, I'm tired. <laughs> and I don't think I'm getting the call tonight. Sadly. But, uh, but that's gonna come into relevance soon, so we probably need this break. Uh, yeah, probably. Um, anyway, so we will be doing, um, AI Somnium on, uh, Thursday. I haven't decided if we'll continue Fable on Saturday. I might. 
I, but I've also started doing a new thing with Sea of Thieves, which apparently is pretty good content. Um, so I'm part of a Friendly Pirates Discord. And so what I did last night was I marooned myself on an island. I tried to see how long I could survive without being killed by any of the monsters on the island and by another player. I managed to survive for an entire in-game week before someone found me and killed me. But what I was doing that entire week was I was gathering supplies, fishing, just living on the island. It also happened to be the island that Flameheart was over top, so that kind of keep kept people away or at least outskirting the island because the Flameheart event has ghost ships encircling the entire island. But basically I would fight the mobs and then I would take any loot that I got from them and stash them in a secret place only I would know. And my goal was to if I found a player and managed to keep them from killing me, I would make friendly, and if they were nice to me and not a complete and total asshole, I would give them my loot. Well, a uh, player by name name of Shifty Bacon is on my shit list. Because <laughs> uh, on sight, I got killed. I have no idea if I accidentally led them to my loot, or if they found it at all, or if they just found me and immediately killed me and just left. So who knows? Crook's Hollow might still have uh, an entire cache of loot that no one's found yet. But um, the secondary um, goal to that experiment, the marooning experiment as I'm calling it, uh, the marooned marauder, even. A. Uh, so... My goal with this is to become so familiar with each island that I maroon myself on that I know it like the back of my hand. So that I can find good hiding spots for loot, um, that I can hide from other players immediately if I need to run. Um, stuff like that. But I may or may not stream that on Saturday, we'll see. Um, and uh, also... I'm not sure how next week's stream schedule is going to go because on top of the fact of I'm waiting on a call from my realtor regarding a house, um, we finally got news from the landlady that they're moving us to the other apartment as of this weekend. So, um, because the spare apartment came available. And now we gotta pack up all our stuff and move to the other apartment so that they can fix this apartment. At, which, as you can see, has all sorts of nonsense in the main room because of the fact that uh, pipe, the pipes and plumbing are just absolute nonsense. So, yeah. And, um... I got complimented on how well I'm handling everything. I'm like, I, I'm just numb. I, no more input. I just, <laughs> I just. Wait, why am I listening to country music? Dear God, what am I doing? Yikes! I am really tired. Anyways, um, I hope you enjoyed the stream. I um, enjoyed playing the game for you today. Uh, I hope to see you for next stream as well. And uh, stick around after the credits for the raid to the next streamer, which will be... Let's see, we've got Pyonk, who's playing Among Us. We've got RC Grand Grand. Jamie, who's playing Psychonauts, or, uh... Oh, hey! We Vote for Hobbits is streaming. Medieval. I guess we... Oh, well, look, he's only got one viewer. I gotta change that. 
All right, well, stick around after the credits. We're going to go uh, make Hobbits' day. And when you get to it, sleep well, my lovelies.